I was just going to like to say one or two very brief words before Ishmael launches into his 30 minute speech. <laughs> has been kindly written by his professional advisor over there. Um, so it's um, sort of happy and sad time for us all. Happy in terms of we're excited for the next stage in Fazana's life and Ishmael's life as they look forward to adventures new. But it's sad for us because we've worked with you guys, both of you, for a very long time. Mm. Now I hear that you claim that you've been here a long time. 24 years. 24 years, that's nothing. No. Nothing. <laughs> that's still a new girl. <laughs> so, I mean, Newbie. where's Gary? Gary, how long have you been here for? Longer than that? Oh, no. no. Oh, so you're a new boy as well. <laughs> Alistair, Alistair. Oh. How long? 44. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Wow. Relatively new. Exactly new now. Dead kids. So which <laughs> makes Ishmael kind of brand new, really. Brand new. He's hardly here and he's going. Brand new. Brand new. How long have you been here then, Ishmael? Fifteen. 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 Yeah. But uh, you've been through a lot in that time, and I still, oh, we have one incident from we mentioned earlier when I was admiring your new glasses. Is, I remember when you, the last time, or last but one time, you got a pair of brand new glasses and we played yep. five-a-side football and you forgot to take them off. Yeah, and they got smashed into the smithereens. <laughs> were you still here, Joe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it you that kicked them off? No, no, Ben, Ben, not Ben, it was Dan. Dan. Dan Beckett. That's why he's not here today, is it? Yeah, I reckon. Still a shame. Still a shame. They're expensive glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In true Bromley fashion, the club, we all club together. We all put a fiver in, or ten or something. They're expensive glasses. I bought you a new pair because you look so sad. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, (laughs) I haven't got any football anecdotes for Fazana because she never turned up, did you? (laughs) (laughs) Is Fazana leaving as well today? Well, a week time. Yeah. I don't think we're having another party. We can't afford two lots no, yeah, of well, come two on. One. Yeah. So, Typical. Um, you just, just so that you can pay half for the leaving day. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bromley's principles in life generally, isn't it? You share the cost, reduce the cost. Reduce Absolutely. The on, on the taxpayer. This is all taxpayers. No, it's not. Um, so thanks, thanks for the visitors. I didn't realise we were having special guests yeah, that's um, to come in today to do Christian help the celebrations. Oh, did, did he? He's, he's travelled. He's gone to, um, where's he gone? America. America. Oh, bit far to pop Coming out. to America. Yeah. <laughs> Christian. So, um, but uh, let me just, well, um, I know you've got, have you got a speech plan? No. Ishmael want... does it for both of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's the now case. you've got a real challenge. So, um, but thank you both for all that you've given in the way of, let's start yeah. with the important thing, friendship. Both yeah. of you have been lovely people to work with, a real pleasure to have as mm-hmm. part of us. And uh, quite apart from all the professional services that you've given to the good people of London's best borough, as Ade calls yep. it, um, it's, it's been a pleasure to, to know you both. And we, we are going to really miss you, miss having you around and um, miss all that you bring to the team. So uh, wish you well for the future. Yep. Now, Ishmael, I'd like to hand over to you for this script. Oh. Hello. Thank you all for, <laughs> for attending my retirement bash. And uh, just uh, got a few couple of notes. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not. It's a. Uh, oh, it's it? duplicated. <laughs> Keep that one. In case you change your mind. Okay. <laughs> if you get sort of emotional, you can then take over because you've got the other got <laughs> tissue or something. I've got, I've got tissue here. Aww. All right. Okay. All right. I'm sort of. This is like a chronology of, of my my start traffic engineering work with traffic engineering. Um, after five years working at London Transport, I decided that I needed further challenges. Um, my then manager offered me uh, uh, what they call a raise to stay. Um, but that fell on deaf ears. I was, I, was, I was a bit bored and needed more challenge. There's only so much, you, after five years, there's only so much you can know about traffic signal. It's not that complicated, really. Hence the reason why I was there. <laughs> Thus, on the 26th of August, 22008, I joined Bromley Council as a traffic engineer. You know, um, I wasn't sure that I had made the right decision at the time, but was, prepared to, but was prepared to give it a shot. My wife was not pleased, 
about losing a transport for London free pass. <laughs> yeah. My career, <laughs> Angus, um, sorry, no, nothing too sensitive. My career at, <laughs> at Bromley has been beneficial and rewarding. I have met some, uh, yeah, I have learned some new skills and met scores of unforgettable colleagues uh, and friends such as Joe Burbage there. And uh, as we mentioned the name Joe Burbage, this guy almost got me killed. <laughs> Joe, you want to tell me about it? Or shall I have to? You can do it. <laughs> we went out on a site visit down to Beckenham and Joe was driving his mum little, what's your Punto? Yaris. Yaris, yeah, a very small one though. <laughs> and as we was coming through that, that junction, um, Wickham Road, Bromley Road. Oh, you know, the, the, the very the dangerous. Yeah. The council really should do something about that. Yeah. Yeah. I, did. I, did. I, did. I, did. I didn't. I saw this guy. Joe was going, he, he got the right of way. And there's a guy actually going straight on. He thought he was actually turning, you know. But he wasn't. And I said, Joe, watch it, look out. Next thing is a bang. And the seatbelt kind of crushed my ribs. I think I cracked a rib or something. And I, I just, I, I was out of breath. You remember? I could say, Joe, wow, Joe, Joe, get an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy, you know, anyway, the guy, obviously, he was, I, he was new to the area, he didn't realise the layout of the junction. Ambulance came for me, put me on a stretcher and take, took me off to Lucian Hospital. I think that, you know, it was, anyway, I survived. <laughs> I think, I survived. Pay for yeah. your holiday, didn't you? <laughs> 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 you have to wait for the car to be towed. Yeah. A little bit. Not, not as bad as it. <laughs> I think you phoned the office and said, I'll kill Ishmael, but the car's open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with every job, uh, with every job there, is, there, there are times when our co colleagues may fail us. But to be honest, there are times when we <laughs> may fail our colleagues. <laughs> uh, that's life, you know, life is all about that. Overall, based on my positive experience, I am certain that I made the right decision to join Bromley Council 15 years ago. My accomplishment. <laughs> accomplishments. I found three lines there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moose. <laughs> Angus, can you say to go? I don't know who invited I don't even know what this thing Gay is. Like Gay or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, in terms of work, I, I, the jobs I've actually done. The modernization of about oh, nine traffic signal junction, including Leesonsville, Seven Oaks, Poverse, Poverse, Red Lodge Road, which includes uh, first, first early start cycle signal in Bromley, I believe. You can correct me, Angus, if I'm wrong. No, definitely uh, the first in Bromley. You might, yes. I think it might have been the first of that design in London. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> New installations include Main Road Junction. You know that junction, Main Road? I think uh, the average was like, well, in Tra three years, it was like about 20 collisions, if I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Uh, yeah. That, that was the one that worked. Uh, no, 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 that was, that was great. That was great. Uh, <laughs> one to be proud of. Yeah. Okay. Um, new Gen Center, which was one of the most interesting, Angus. I'm sure you remember this one. Mm -hmm. As far as I remember, Bromley is still waiting for Nugent Centre to management to contribute their half of the installation fee. Are they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember that, all the Angus, huh? A bit yeah. naughty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. Another interesting and historic installation was the Crystal Palace Toucan Crossing, oh. incorporating a set of. Oh, 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 <laughs> Oh, oh, well, no. I, I, we're never going to know because it's not crazy. No, 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 it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. That's right. Oh, no, no, I've got it. I've got it. JJ filled oh. in the gap anyway. <laughs> what were they? They were dinosaur oh, footprints. Oh, <laughs> dinosaur footprints, <laughs> which was the brainchild of who? Oh, well, Alexander. Alexander Baldwin, I've got it here. I wasn't going to take the... the, the no, I'm not going to take it. I just see you. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming along. Yeah. You just said, can we put dinosaur food behind? I'm like, yes, we can. And we did it. Okay. Okay. Um, and moving on chronologically. Um, uh, okay. 
of a period of time I was, I was um, awarded the Empl employee of the year. I can't quite remember what you call that. On two occasions. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. But, and in fact, I was more proud of the extra cash that I got for that. <laughs> <laughs> My promotion to principal traffic engineer was the icing on the cake, for which I thank Wookie for encouraging me to put my act in the ring. <laughs> yeah, it was good to get um, your endorsement. Okay. I was hoping that I would have retired with a perfect work record as I had in, in, brought in TFL 365 days per year without a day off sick, without a duvet day. You know, they like that. Yeah, so I was hoping to continue along that vein, but unfortunately, I took sick. And um, in fact, I was so ill that I had to think about dusting off my will. Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> right, here, here, this should be interesting. Things that did not go so well. I'm not talking just about things that go well. I've got to tell you all the bad things I've done. Angus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, How much time have you got? Have you got <laughs> <laughs> several paragraphs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, there was, um, yeah, number one, the lease and sale traffic signal modernization and modification. It exceeded, ex exceeded, well exceeded its generous contingency limit. <laughs> and I got a smack on the wrist for that. I'm still paying for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's the reason why I didn't get the last week pay. Okay. Right, and right. oh, this is this was an interesting one. I guess I don't know if you remember this. I once sent an email to my manager expressing my personal feeling about a local pressure group. I think his name was Mr. Prince. Can't remember. Uh, <laughs> only to realise that. He was copied in also. Where do you find this button that actually record, record, record? Too late. I was too slow on the draw. Sometimes you have to tell them how it is. Yeah. Yes, it was an uncomfortable moment. But I'm still alive. No. At this point, I would like to acknowledge some of those who were instrumental and gave me some valuable guidance and support during my time at Bromley. And who is on the list? Mr. Colberwell, hmm. Angus Colberwell, Deirdre Farrell, and Angus, don't shoot me for this, Lisa Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Uh, I've got to say the truth, mate. And also Chris Cole. Um, Chris Cole. I'll tell you what Chris Cole did for me. He realized that I wasn't getting enough pay and he made, <laughs> <laughs> he made a case for getting me a rise so you know Chris Cole good on you brother also uh, a lot of uh, this this guy Clive Baldwin I don't know remember Clive Baldwin yeah. Yeah. you know Clive Baldwin he, he sort of taught me a lot about um, civils on, on the um, on the road and things like that he taught a lot and he you know he'd always find time to come and show me about Peter Garrett also taught me a lot and believe it or not Lisa Murray. Yay. I don't know why you're here, Lisa. I didn't even realize you were coming, so I didn't just pen this in. <laughs> you know, Lisa, very helpful, anything computer wise, and she'd, she'd take time out. She'd say, well, no, no, do this. Or she'd say, you know, she usually email and things like that. Think sometimes I forget my name, she reminds me. <laughs> Ron, Ron Pryor. And one of, I think, arguable, the best um, engineer that we ever had. James Mal, James, what's the name? <laughs> Romalo. Romalo. James Romalo. He was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so thank you all so much. I hope that uh, I, that as I leave my post, new engineers will take it, take my place, and be trained um, to high level um, to respond to the demand of the reply. <laughs> To the demand of our residents, our demanding residents. Yeah. I imagine that uh, in time Isaac will become a full, fully fledged engineer with traffic modeling skills and so forth. And that's all guys. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Well
Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just going to open the ground oh, for anyone who wants to talk. But before they do that, I'll just quickly say, I remember the first time um, Sarah Baker okay. introduced <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna get work. When, when she introduced me to um, Fazana, she said, the speed woman. I'm like, what do you mean the speed woman? So like, the speed woman. I'm like, oh, okay, all right, tell me what this means. Um, Fazana's specialty is speed. So speed surveying, um, vehicle activated signs. If you live in Bromley and you've seen a sign somewhere, it's probably installed by Fazana. Yeah. And that bit that you've sort of just taken hold of, you've taken responsibility for it, and you've done it perfectly well. Um, the times when you're asking Fazana a question and she's like going into all the details, and I'm like, get to the end. <laughs> and then one day she said to me, um, excuse me, but you know, I can actually, I, I can be, I can take my time when I'm talking, so please be patient. I'm like, Okay, <laughs> I'll be patient. And it's just really been awesome working um, with you, Fazana. Um, as we're going through the handover process, and Fazana was showing me speed surveys from donkey years, like 20 years ago, 30 years ago. I'm like, how oh, really? Is this what you keep? Is this what you manage? And I'm really so impressed. Um, I really, really hope that you're moving on in life. I keep thinking it's Ishmael that inspired you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that it can be okay, so Ishmael inspired you <laughs> um, to take early retirement. I really hope that as you move on to this next phase of life, that you will make something good out of it. You enjoy it. It will be a joy. Oh, no, don't cry. Don't make me cry. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Joe. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's emotional. <laughs> I really pray and I hope that it will be a lovely one and a precious one for you. Thank you, Fazana. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm not going to come to this now. I'm not letting you go. Not, not that easily. Um, Ishmael, when I joined Bromley, Ishmael was working, was working in David Bond's team. And then later, oh. they actually joined my team or I joined their team. And it's really been a pleasure. One thing I would say about Ishmael is um, a brilliant attitude. Brilliant attitude. Um, I always say to my children, you can teach skills, you can teach, you know, a lot of things that are physical to people, but you cannot really teach attitude. It's different. But someone who's got a heart that really wants to do something, you cannot. It's not something that you can tell them how to do it. They just really want to do it, or they do not want to do it. And that's something I found in Ishmael. Ishmael is really he's got, he's got brilliant attitude and. That's the reason why we've got so many people who've been emailing, writing, and saying they're going to meet you. And because you've made so much impact in everybody's life, even as even as someone like I did not, I'm not saying a little, but I like the little impact you've made in your life. Um, Ishmael and Isaac part crossed when Isaac was doing his I am oh, yeah. his um, work experience, yeah, and yeah. the way Ishmael took took on to him so much. Even now, it's like it makes it a point to want to teach him something, to want to impact something into his life, and I'm sure most people in the team can say the same thing about you, like you've really, really touched their lives. You've got that humility about you, so humble the way you approach life. I know a few times you've been like angry, maybe someone's no, done something. Pressure, pressure. <laughs> and I remember there was one resident association chairman that you did write to me and said, I am not responding to that. You know, I'm like, um, Angus knows a person. It's your team. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to, please, yeah. I do not want to engage with that man. Right. I'm like, copy him in as well. If anyone can actually get Ishmael this angry, yeah, they must have done it. A very good job. Uh, <laughs> it was not the nicest. A person. very bad job. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I just want to say thank you. And um, more recently, you've really been helpful mm. with um, onboarding new staff. Okay. Even yesterday, when I thought I'm not going to let Ishmael onboard the new staff because I thought he's just coming back from holidays, so yeah. it's just going to be too much for him. It was in the office, and I didn't even know. Funny enough, I didn't even know that it was in the it office. Was <laughs> but he still came, and um, thank you so much for everything. We really appreciate you. you. Bromley is going to miss you. I am going to miss you. Thank I'm going to miss you, Fazana. I'm going to miss the two of you. And um, 
Thank you so much. All the best in life. All the best in the meeting. We do the present presentation now, or does anybody else want to talk? Wow. <laughs> No, actually, somebody must talk. <laughs> Ishmael, yeah? all those signals are working, yeah? Which one? The signal. I'll <laughs> check uh, next week. I'll check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had it to his list of yeah, <laughs> things to do. You had it to his list. So, okay, let's go. Hi, Justin. Thank you. So, I've got flowers. I don't know. Yellow, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she loves flowers. She loves flowers. <laughs> 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 okay, five ninety nine. <laughs> that's fine. Well, two ninety nine. Oh, she's talking. Yeah. 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 I went across to Mars and what? I actually don't know if it's appropriate to give a man. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I guess it's oh. <laughs> 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 she, she, she loves flowers. I, I don't mind. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And thank you for coming. Thank you very much. If we do it the English way, they will stand with you and ask you to open the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I get private, guys? No, no, please, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. And that's it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, oh. guys. Thank you. 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 Thank